Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is part 5 of this Visual Basic project where we are creating the bank account uh, from the book uh, Introduction to Visual, I mean Introduction to Programming using Visual Basic. So, and in this video hopefully we'll be able to finish the transaction class. We already created the account and presentation classes and this is our last class to create. So, uh, in the last video I told you that next thing we will do is to read the files the text files and create actually the transaction so let's do that so public and I'm gonna make it shared again uh, and the reason is because this is just reading the files this technically could be in presentation but since we are reading the files of transactions I'm putting it in, uh, into transactions but I wanna add, uh, have access just to this uh, one method without instantiating uh, the whole object so I'm just doing it shared which again basically means static if you're coming from other languages so read transaction files and what I need to pass to it I will just pass account to it uh, the reason is because I need to know whether it's uh, checking or saving so I know whether, what file to read uh, whether I should read the checking.txt or the savings.txt because those are two separate files so uh, let's do a date as date that's the first uh, thing on the file the name as string that's the second one and what I mean by that is if you open the files here's the checking file you have the date you have the name which is deposit then we will have the amount and then we have it, we will have the type the type is not exact even though type is deposit in this case like for example here you have a name of the transaction check cashed by electric company and then false false is the type which means it was withdrawal because it was a check so that's what it means even though this is deposit and true means deposit the the name does not have to be deposit it could say anything it could say uh, check cashed or transfer from or stuff like that so that's why we have it separate the name and the uh, the transaction type so the next thing was the amount that's double and the type was a boolean again true for a deposit false for a withdrawal so uh, with each transaction that we do every deposit or withdrawal or when we change the uh, accounts uh, from checking to savings in our drop down I want to clear uh, basically everything <laughs> I want to clear the uh, all the classes uh, because I'm creating I'm opening a new class basically I'm creating a new class so uh, I'm going to do uh, trans dot clear that's the that's the list of transactions remember that we created over here the transaction list that returns the uh, returns trans and new balance that returns uh, new balance those uh, new balance list I'm sorry so we are clearing this list because we need to update them with the fresh data uh, and we update them from the file uh, because after each transaction we write the transaction in the file so everything rather than keeping the list and reading from the list we update the list from the actual file after each transaction has been committed so new balance we will clear that and we will clear the account balance because it's, it needs to be recalculated because new transaction was added so we will declare it uh, to zero and now let's read the file so using I will just do my reader as new file uh, file io dot text field parser I believe that's uh, that's that's the way to do it 
uh, but I'm getting some problem. Oh, it must using my, must end with. Oh well. All right, whatever. I will end it. Uh, and using. It still doesn't like it very much, but it will clear. Let me just do it. Uh, so, what what are we reading? Well, we read uh, the account name that we are passing from the account. So, acc dot account name plus extension txt because the files are named checking that txt and savings that txt and so are my classes they're going to be named checking and savings without the txt so that's why i have to add it but the account name that we pass we pass the whole account but the account name portion of it when concatenated with that txt will give us the actual file name which i have in the debug folder bin slash debug all right so that's that and next thing we need to uh get the uh, my reader dot text field type file io dot uh, field type dot delimited because the files are delimited by comma each uh, again if you look at that you have the date comma deposit comma thousand comma and so forth so this is delimited by comma it d does it automatically for us and we just have to tell it what the delimiter is so we will set delimiter and it's the comma all right so now we'll do the line because i need to re read each line separately so i'll just do a string called line and go into the loop while not my reader that end of data in other words as long as there's some data keep reading it and when it's over then stop our line equals the current line that is in the reader so that read fields that's the current line that we are reading and um, why doesn't it like it cannot convert string to string uh, Oh, that's because this is supposed to be an array of course because it's going to be delimited uh, like each line will have these four uh, index 0 will be the date index 1 will be the deposit index 2 will be thousand index 4 will be true and then it goes to the next one next line after in in the while statement so our line is delimited uh, array of each of those uh, values from the text file so if let's let me check first the date to make sure that uh, we are passing a valid date uh, although in our file it is but well it never hurts to check so line zero that's the element zero is the date from the file and we are converting it to date so if this is okay then t date equals line of the element or index zero so that's the first index uh, from the line array and then we'll just do the name equals line this is gonna be index one that's the name the amount equals and we can check again that it parses as a double that you know it's not a, like a ABC that's not a number it would crash so let's just do the ternary operator error again so if uh, the double die tr dot try parse and we are passing the line of the index of 2 and we are assigning it to the T amount so if this parse is okay then 
a line index of two can be returned otherwise let's return a message box uh, that says something like uh, I don't know uh, amount plus the amount that we are trying or what the value that is there plus is not a valid number so whatever we are trying to pass is not a valid number and the message box will be displayed and if it's if it is it will be parsed uh, into our t amount this is uh, you could do these checks separately with the simp simple if statements but uh you know this is a this is a fairly simple way to do it and uh, you'll see it quite a bit so uh you should definitely understand what these ternary operators do so again if the index of two of line which is supposed to hold the amount if it parses as double assign it to a uh, t amount which is going to be uh, uh, returned to our t amount uh, otherwise display a message box that it, it is not a valid number whatever the value is and finally the t type equals the line index of three so now I have everything correct if I got all the way here everything parsed correctly I can create an object so um, uh, into our into our transaction uh, array I'm, I'm well, it's, it's a list actually, sorry, not an array, so a transaction list. Add, and we will add new transaction to it. And this time we can pass the T date. We can pass the T name, T amount, and T type. And now we created the object and added it to our list. And we can do add the new balance to our uh, other list our new balance dot add and we will add the account dot get account balance if you remember if you watched the previous videos get account balance it checks the type whether it's true or false if it's a deposit we will add to the balance if it's a withdrawal if it's a false, if it's a withdrawal, we will take the amount from the account balance. So, new balance, account balance, and we will do T type and T amount that it expects. So, we will pass the true or false, and we will pass the actual amount that already was parsed, and we, we know that it's a correct, that it's a valid number. Okay, so that uh, takes care of the reading the files. And uh, the next thing we have to start uh, kind of creating the transactions, like when we add the deposit or withdrawal or transfer or sign check. So uh, I'm gonna do that next. So uh, stick around. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.